Hi, this is Luke for Production Experts, and this is using the project page for mastering in Studio One. The project page is where existing song files or pre-existing audio can be brought in for processing and creating final mastered assets. Today, I'm following the six basic steps, which you can read more about over at the Production Experts blog in our article. Now we're looking at the project page right now, but if I click the documents icon at the very far top right, that takes me back into my song. So I can toggle between the two by using that icon. In Studio One, I have a song that sounds like this. Now I could export this in the usual way, or I can send it into the project page for mastering. So here's my audio in my project page, and it's plonked that at the end, so what I can do is reorder my tracks just by dragging them in the tracks list here. I can do things such as topping and tailing them, resequence them, close that gap, add automation and fades, and just otherwise compile my EP or album project right here in the project page. And I can import pre-existing audio so I can master things in a project uh, that don't necessarily originate in Studio One. So if we just listen again to the audio that we have just brought in from our song, And then compare that with the next track. So the first thing you notice about that second track is it's louder, but it also has a lot more bass energy going on as well. So we can fix that in our project. So if I go over to my track plugins, so I've got an EQ here, I can turn that on. And now I have an EQ curve that should impart a similar character to my second track. Let's have a listen. Let's compare that with the other track. Back. So a bit more like it, and I can provide a bit more refinement if I need to. And just like the rest of Studio One, AU and VST plugins are supported as well. So you can use all your favorite toys. So we still have the issue of this differing loudness. Now I can simply select my track up here, and I could turn up the track if I wanted to. And in that instance, if I wanted to, I could just for safety, put a limiter just across the track only, then just have that set. So I've got a ceiling of minus one true peak, and then I've just pushed the threshold right up out the way. But it just means that this is here if I overdo it with the fader. Turn it up a bit. Let's try three. Go back to my other track. Okay, so again, a little bit more like it there. So I do have quite a few options for viewing the spectra of my audio and also its loudness. So quite a wide band view there. So whatever your preference is here. And then off to the right, I have my loudness values as well. So I've got integrated values. In fact, if I hit stop, let's click that just to reset. Okay, so pretty hot at the moment, so I could bring that down if I needed to. Now what's really cool is I can simply go over to my assets here, right click it and go edit song. And that will just take me straight back into my song where I can make those bigger broad brush changes if I need to.
So if I move something and then hit save, and now I have the red spanner just over my song icon. So if I right click, I can just go through and update my mastered file. You can see that it's just rebouncing and then it will reference that audio in my project as well. So very slick, very quick for those last minute tweaks. But another really useful feature is this digital release option here. And this is the one that most people will be using a lot of the time. And we have a few options. Now, the first thing is I can decide the destination directory. And we also have options here for different formats. But this is really useful, adjust loudness. So I'll just go to the service of my choice and we're in business. So that is mastering using the projects page in Studio One. To find out more and to read our full article, head over to the Production Expert blog.